everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And today we find ourselves back in mom's kitchen. Yay! It's been a long time. Where have you been? Around. Okay, well, um, today we're just having a casual fam family dinner and mom wanted to make chicken fajitas. So right. you kind of want to explain a little bit of the process oh. of okay. so not how we're or not that one, okay how we're making it. Well, we're using leftover chicken that came from the freezer. So this is rotisserie chicken, and the recipe we're using actually calls for fresh chicken. But but, but we we're going to substitute cooked chicken. So we'll see how it work, we, works. We've never made this recipe yet, but it okay. looked very interesting and uh, hopefully it's got great flavors. All right, Okay. so, so what are we using today? So first we're making um, <laughs> some kind of a, a sauce that will blend, that we're gonna use to um, pour over the um, chicken and the vegetables. Now what we did with the vegetables is we doubled the vo volume of the vegetables, mm -hmm. um, just because we love lo lots of vegetables and uh, so we'll see um, how that works. So this is peppers and onions. Right. Bell, pep bell peppers and onions, peppers red and onions. onions. Okay, yeah. so what so we're going to first do is make this sauce. Okay. So it, what we need is um, lemon juice and... No, it's lime juice. Lime juice, sorry. Thank you for the correction. Chicken, chicken broth mm -hmm. and um, a cup of cilantro. Okay. <clears throat> Carrie doesn't care for cilantro. So it has to be packed into the cup. Yeah. It's grown on me though, but I think as a kid I didn't really like it. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic. And green, green onions, scallions. That's for scallions, but we're using green onions. I hope they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. Two cloves. And we'll put the uh, recipe in the description box of Honey. all the measurements. Okay, this mm -hmm. is for the avocado. It's still good. So Honey. And salt. Let's start at one. This green mixture is going to be mixed into the chicken and vegetables, so make sure that it's pureed pretty well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two tablespoons out and save it. And then we're gonna divide the remaining liquid between the chicken that we have here and our vegetables, so we're going to soak it. Here, table so. soap. What made you want to make um, fajitas today, tonight? Um, I have a bag of Mexican cheese in my refrigerator, and I was cleaning out my freezer, and I have chicken and um, pork carnitas, mm -hmm. and so I decided this would be. What can I use it for? Yes. So this is what it's we. It's the no waste policy. Right. Right. It's. You know, we have to divide this in between the veggies and the chicken. So my mom is dividing half the sauce onto the chicken and the other half on the vegetables. And I know she cut a lot more vegetables than chicken. So we probably could have used more sauce. But all in all, it worked out great. You have to tongs it. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna um, make an avocado dressing that's gonna okay. go on in our fajitas. So, what we need are these two tablespoons, mm -hmm. and we need a half a cup of water, mm -hmm. and we need one avocado. So, do you yes. have the avocado ready? Should I dump this in and get a half a cup? Yes, exactly. Good job. Thinking ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Water in. Okay. As I watch my mom in the kitchen and learn from her, something that I admire is the fact that she's always willing to try a new recipe and continue to expand her knowledge on what she cooks in the kitchen. And in return, it definitely helps to expand mine. So speaking of your children, like myself and your other daughter, so why don't you, so now that I'm a mother, what, what is what is some parenting advice that 
you could give me as I'm starting out and being well, a new mother? I think the first thing that, and I think I've said this before on in your videos, is the first thing you, you have. To, I think it was important me, for me to understand is that, um, you know, that as your children get older, mm -hmm. that you have to allow them to have their own choices because they have their own life and they have to they have to live their life you can't make decisions for them because then it's they have to live your choices not theirs so that's my very first advice of hmm. course when they're young you are the mother and so you have to make those choices for many choices for them but as they get older you know you have to be able be able to um, support them. Do you feel even like if they 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 what make the wrong decisions? <laughs> Do you feel like there was ever decisions with um, any of your children where you didn't agree, but then you just had to uh, like um, you know you had to accept it and move on and um, and just trust that we made the best decisions? Um, yeah, there are some some decisions that I, you know, I, if, you know, I'm hoping uh, that it works out, mm -hmm. and you know, but you never know. Um, this one you're supposed to wait for half an hour. Okay, so, so shall we come back to this then? Yeah. Okay, we'll come back in a little bit. We should taste this though. Oh, well, here, why don't you taste it? Um, taste it. Okay, I think it does. It's avocado, needs. water, and a little That's bit of the sauce. this sauce. So I think it does need salt, probably. Oh yeah, we didn't. Is it? It says salt to taste. It has a nice flavor. It has like a lime. It's like a guacamole kind of flavor. Yeah, it's like a guacamole. Nice guacamole. But yeah, I think a little bit of salt will bring out the yeah. flavors more. Yeah. Okay. So while we're delicious. Eating, I'm gonna wash this up. All right. We'll come back. So while we wait for the meat to marinate, we're gonna be making the yogurt sauce. So is this going on top of the fajitas? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay so um, one and a half teaspoons of oil. I'm eyeballing it. Okay. So eyeballing it again, mm -hmm. and an eighth of a teaspoon of coriander. And while we do that, Reed is here. Reed, say hi. Uh, we're also going to have corn. So what mom is doing here is she's toasting the cumin and coriander in the oil and she is going to add it to the plain Greek yogurt. First time we're doing this, right? Yeah. So this is the yogurt. Giovanni Greek non-fat yogurt. Can we say yeah. hi? Say hi. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in the yogurt, and hopefully it's gonna taste good. Oh, it will look burnt. I hope it's okay. We'll know. We'll give you a report on this one. This is brand new for us to okay. mix it together. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're having the fajitas, and I'm also just gonna make some. Um, hard shell tacos on the side, so we're just going to make some taco meat and we have some corn. So we have an array of food because we have our whole family coming over and so we just need a lot of, need a lot of food. So whenever we get together for meals, it always gets a little chaotic around the kitchen just because we're all trying to either heat up our food or make our food for everybody to share. So as you can see, mom is softening the vegetables by frying them up in the lower right pan. And since we are having beef tacos along with our delicious fajitas, I was starting to brown the meat when Reed offered to add the seasoning for our taco meat and I graciously accepted. We will come back when everything is fried up. So Reed, can you kind of share like what spices you're using to, to season our meat? 
some paprika, cumin, some chili powder, salt, pepper, um, garlic salt. The standard stuff you probably have already in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. I feel like cumin and chili powder really make the, the flavors come out. Those are the all of the chicken. Okay, we're just gonna warm up the chicken. Usually you're supposed to use raw chicken, but we are just using already frozen chicken. Oh, I cannot wait. It smells like it's so good. You like the smell, Lori? I do. And how we're gonna eat this, I believe, is on soft tacos, correct? Yeah, with the chicken and with our bell peppers and with our yogurt sauce. Here is some tacos. We have Jenny poured the wine. How's all the wines? It's poor. It's poor. She's poor. She's haha didn't. Kathy made a... What did you do? the salad. I mixed it all by myself. Kathy made... Wow. Costco. Okay. Mom, can we see how you make this? Get out tongs for all of these things here. Can I see you make one? Um, sure. So I warmed it. Okay. And we're warming some more here. But we're going to put our chicken. Alright, chicken. And who's going to be the taster? I think we both should because I, I was your sous chef. Okay. I don't really... Okay. I'm going to put our delicious veggies here. Ooh. And then we're going to put our, okay now I did, oh we need a spoon for this one. Our salt. And you did add a little bit more salt to that. Yeah, sure. salt. Okay, wait, it's a razor. Ooh. Let's see. So you do a pita? okay. I'll hold it for you. Okay. You can take a big bite. There's some onions here. Oh. Oh. Over the plate. Over the plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. The sauce is coming out. I guess I should have folded it. It's good. I like the flavor. Mm. Salt, pepper, chicken, avocado flavor. Mm. Good. So even with frozen chicken, it works. Good job. Good recipe. Okay, I'm going to try Kathy's guacamole. Mm. A lot of flavor, a lot of garlic. Good. Okay, so what did you put in your guac? I put um, garlic. One tomato um, and my, I don't know, a bunch of, I just kind of, it's just to taste, so there's no mess recipe. Um, and then lime, of course. And salt and pepper. How's the fajita? It's very, very good. Mmm. The, the onions are almost a little caramelized. It's so good. I told you to it. Hello, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying your food? Yes. Oh, it's on the table? I'm a I, I'm partial to um, taco salad versus taco. I like to mix it all up. Probably the way it's gonna look like when it's in your stomach. Olay. Yeah. I got the fajita chicken in here. It's good. Compliments to the chef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jenny, you made sure you didn't put anything else on it, right? I didn't. This is the way the chef wanted it. Jenny got scolded. I got scolded. Because I was going to put cheese on mine. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. It's very good. Very mm -hmm. tasty. Everything is very well seasoned and the sauce is good. Mm -hmm. really Restaurant good. quality. Yeah. Restaurant. Good job. It's really good. Oh. The meat sauce. What kind of meat is that, Gil? Oh, chicken. Chicken and the vegetables and the onions. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. 
Here is the fajita. Wait, where, where should I sit? I hope this gave you an idea for a fun family dinner. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.